We moved from care in space to humans in space. Our mission and our vision is having more people up in space and allowing them and providing infrastructures. I was thrilled to be invited back for a second year. Seeing companies and ideas begin to think about how humans can thrive in space, not just survive in space. When I look at these innovation concepts and these contests, it's not an idea that we've had and grown in the space community. These are ideas that are coming from outside the space community, and that's really exciting to me. We are trying to highlight and deliver the key core message about Humans in Space program, which is those extraordinary pioneers ask questions in a different way. That's how we began here in Space Challenge last year. And look, now we are with one of the most greatest prominent space events in the world. The most rewarding part of being an evaluator for this challenge was seeing the broad range of interdisciplinary approaches that are being taken to address human health in space. Well, I feel that the 2023 Humans in Space Challenge is, is an absolute critical step in our exploration of space. Um, I, I really feel that um, we are going to have humans in space that are going to be needed to colonize uh, the Moon and eventually Mars. And I believe that much of our experience that we've developed in Earth would have, uh, we can apply that to space. And also, similarly, uh, what we learned from space, we can also bring back down here to uh, apply it back to Earth. Throughout the challenge, we've been introduced to a, a much larger ecosystem, both research-oriented people and commercial-oriented people who all share many of the same goals and problems that we do. So we've had a really great experience so far. So we've been able to meet clients, partners, and more importantly, we've been able to understand better what uh, the space environment uh, challenges are and how we can best fulfill the needs of a space as a market. Apollo 13 was definitely um, a huge Bor Young has brought together a great group of, of evaluators and a great group of scientists. I've been meeting really incredible people. We've been trying to establish collaborations um, so that we can actually make our own work a little better as well. So I think Humans in Space is, is laying the foundational layer for that future space economy when everybody's thinking about launch and components and hardware and propulsion. At the end of the day, without the humans, there is no space. I think, you know, the biggest impact for our team was learning about, you know, all the interesting, uh, you know, developments and research that's happening out there uh, to support humans in space so that we, you know, can better learn and better iterate through our products and how we can support them and the researchers. We have to understand how people can live in those environments, how a very diverse population can travel outside of the Earth's boundaries, um, how we can grow real food in space.